Scratch is a cute, accessible, entry-level game engine designed mostly for kids to learn programming, and yet it has 10 million more users than Japan has people. I make most of my games using the Unity game engine, but lately I've really been wanting to branch out and learn new tools. And what better tool to start with than what most people start their game development journey with, Scratch. Just looking at clips online, I'm <laughs> a little skeptical, but it's so popular that there has to be something to it. And the only way I'm gonna find out is if I try it myself. So I figure I'll make a game and I'll let you guys know what I think about Scratch towards the end of the video. Now, the first thing to do is actually go to the Scratch website because you can actually use the entire game engine in your browser. I signed up and made a new account, and as soon as I created a new project, I can't help but feel uh, lost. The way Scratch works is you drag and drop these building blocks around and stack them up, and then things happen. But I don't really know how to even get started. They did give me this video tutorial, and it basically just told me to pull in the sound. Thanks, I guess. Playing around with some of the blocks, I figured out how to get this cat to move around. And eventually I got it to where when you click this green flag, you can move in four directions with proper input. So it's better than nothing. It also didn't take long for me to notice I was doing really dumb things, structuring these blocks and like how to structure them a little bit better. I don't really know what I'm doing. While I was experimenting though, I was trying to think what kind of game would be fun to make. I knew it needed to be pretty simple in scope because I have no clue how anything works. And that's when I thought of the iconic Mario Party game, Shy Guy Says. You basically just raise the same flag that the Shy Guy raises, and the longer the game goes, the harder it gets. And once you mess up, you lose. This seemed like a good project to like play around with a couple different elements in Scratch, and kind of figure out how things work. So with an idea, I started thinking about the art, and I found out you can actually make sprites directly in Scratch. So that's what I'm gonna do. In terms of a character, we need somebody to be the Shy Guy that's gonna raise the flags. We're making a game in Scratch, those, so who better than the mascot, the Scratch Cat? So I made this camera facing cat that's holding two flags and basically the three frames are neutral, holding up one flag and holding up the other. This way we can just toggle between all three of these, which leads us to actually programming switching between these states. I gotta say, it's a bit unintuitive as a beginner trying to figure out which blocks play nice together, especially for conditionals. But I was able to figure out how to randomly choose between two numbers and whichever number it lands on, it'll raise the appropriate flag. And with that, the start of the game is forming before our very eyes. For this game, I'm purposefully not trying to look at the forms or any YouTube creators to try and learn how to use Scratch better because I just want to see if I can get a basic game working by myself. After all, you only get a first impression once. The next step for our game is now that we actually have the cat raising the flags, we need the player to actually raise their flag too. So I made a character for the player, he's beautiful, and I placed it behind the cat. And now if you press A or D, you'll raise one of the flags. You know, the one that has the letter on it. The tricky part here wasn't changing the player sprite. It was checking to see if the player actually did the right thing. There's like a brief second after the cat raises a flag. And if the player raises the right flag, the game will just keep looping forever until they press the wrong flag or don't put in an input, in which case, they lose and the game's over. But to be completely honest with you, it was shocking how fast I got the core game loop done. It took a couple minutes and this is why Scratch is so popular. You just get things done quickly. And there's definitely limitations to the engine, but I can already see how this is appealing, especially for quick prototypes. Next, I wanted to flesh out the game a bit more. So I added a backdrop, including some nice clouds that float across happily. I then found a song on open game art and added it. It's Bossa Nova. And I was gonna add sound effects too, but I couldn't not use the default meow. So the cat now just like meows. And finally added a game over screen that also tells you what your score was. The game at this point feels like a pretty cohesive experience, but I can't release it yet because it's just too easy. In the real Shy Guy says it gets faster each round, but also the Shy Guy will try and fake you out. So I made a new sprite for the cat where he holds up both flags. And then I made it so if the player survives the first few rounds, the cat will try and fake you out a random amount of times before showing the real flag. It kind of just looks like he's having a seizure. And also the time the player gets at this point to raise their flag gets cut in half. So it gets a lot faster and the cat will start faking you out. And those changes are a pretty big deal because it completely changed how the game plays. And sure, this game is really simple, but I feel just about ready to put it out there and see what other people think. Fortunately, as I found out, publishing a game on Scratch is as easy as hitting the share button and filling out the details. That's it. I really like that. That's a 
big W for Scratch. And with that, my game, Scratch Cat Says, is out there for other people to play. Overall, from creating my account to publishing this game, it really didn't take very long. It was a couple hours at most of me just casually playing around. Granted, I have been programming and making games for years, but even so, I think the perk of it being targeted towards beginners is, well, it's simple. And simplicity is great. So my first impression of Scratch is it's definitely an easy recommendation, especially to people that aren't very tech savvy or just wanted to like play around with game development for a little bit. It's not a powerhouse of a tool, but it's something fun to play with. And for that, it gets a lot of points. So that's it for me on this project. I'm sure I'll use it again for something else in the future. And with that, I'll just say that I am officially a scratcher.